All right, guys. Uh, I'm gonna make a little baby spread for you guys right now. This is just ingredients just from the Dollar Tree. Uh, don't really have all the ingredients, so everybody don't start sitting there saying, oh, I didn't put this and I didn't put that, because I know. This is just quick shit from the Dollar Tree. That's it, you know? Under a few dollars. So. And I know that I should be putting it in the bag. And if you guys want it like that, that's different. But I'm just going to do it all, you know. I'm going to mix it in the bag, but I'll cook it in the in the bowl. So when you crush up your soup, you to crush up your soup like that. Couldn't find no chili lime soups at the Dollar Tree, so don't come for me on that one either. You would be hateful in the comments. Put your board there so I can see it. All right, one moment. So on these though, you just want to get them to where you don't really want to put too much water in it. You just want them to blow up. That's it. Get enough like that. And you can still drain it afterwards, you know. Oh, there's no microwaves in prison. I know. Trust me. I was there. So you get your cheat out. You want to give them a little baby crust. Not too much of a crust, because then it will be all powdered. That will just be flavoring. So you throw some of those in there like that. Small bag of hot Cheetos. Hey, like everything from the Dollar Tree except this. No. That was on the dollar? Dollar General. Dollar General. Same Dollar theme. Dollar General. You want to crush up your soup? I mean, your chips. Throw those in there. And mix it real quick. And then this is where you want to chop up your meat. You want to have some type of meat in there. This is the only type of sausage I could find at the dollar store. It's not the dollar store anymore, guys. It's a dollar twenty-five. I seen shit in there for four dollars. Yep, five dollar pizzas. Yeah, so four dollar pizzas. Goodbye to that. So we have we have some mackerel right here and some tuna right here. I'm gonna go ahead and leave these kind of big slices like that. Just kind of like that though. Get them all chopped up nice. That with your little beef jerky in there. I used to really like cornets in my spreads, but I don't really. Only in the menudo. That's another video, guys. Make some menudo for you guys one time. One time for the one time. I know that there's a lot of people on, on YouTube that make spreads and makes, you know, this and that. That's Everybody has their own way of doing things. So don't this come just, for us. Yeah, this is just my take. I should try to make one one day, huh? Yeah. But you tell me how to make it? No, you, I mean, you pretty you much You can just put everything in it, huh? Pretty much I mean, I'm anything that you want in it? Yeah. I won't taste it, though. You gotta taste it. Then nope. I don't know why you won't taste oh. this one. You don't always put mayonnaise in it. That's her thing. She thinks that there's mayonnaise always. Come on, strong man. <laughs> <laughs> My hands are slippery. He cleaned his hands. Calm down. Yeah. Pickety pick. Who eats pickles just by himself? They're bomb. Um, I think you asked that question last time. Who eats pickles in a salad? Bomb. I do. A lot of people think I'm weird because I do, but hey. All right, guys, so on this one now, I'm just going to drain, strain up all this water right here. I know there's quite a bit, so. A little strainer thing right there. Oh. Try to get it for you guys. Drain all the water. Get 
Now, here comes the cooking part. So you just want to throw that in the bag with the chip mix. Get that in a little, little open. Anybody that really knows how to make a good spread to tell you, it's all in the mixture. It's all in how you mix it, as long as you mix it all together. So you get your ingredients, your beef jerky, sausage and pickles. I'm gonna throw that in there. Let's see how it's looking in there. A little, little razzle dazzle in there. You wanna get your se seasoning packet. I like to do it like this, the one on first. Give it a mix. Just a quick mix. Do a little something like that at first. This is right here where the macro comes in. Ooh, that shit squirted. I don't know, boo boo. Drink some of that out, all that juice. And just pour your macro in. Mm -mm, throw it away. Bomb. Then you get your tuna. I need a spoon or something for this. Mm -hmm. Jalapeno tuna. <clears throat> then you want to get your mayonnaise. Get your mayo, people. Couple little dribbles. Mm. And then last, and throw your other seasoning packet in there. And this is where it goes. The final mixture of it. So we didn't use none of the jalapeno dip cheese? Not yet. Oh, you're still going to use that? Yeah. Just what they call a log. Let that sit. I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Okay, and then usually this is how they do it. So you get your ID card. Hit. One. Two. Three. Yeah, three people spread right there. Go. That's more or less of what it should be looking like a little. I just mess it up right now. I'm to be cutting it. Let me see. Tell me if that looks good to you guys. If you guys want me to try to make one, smash that like button. And please smash it because I want to taste this. <laughs> and subscribe. And then you just throw it in your tortilla. That kind of looks fire. Get it like that. Let me throw a fat piece right there. I shouldn't have got the extra big tortillas. And you get your little cheese. You just drizzle. Cheese squeeze on it. It's supposed to be squeezed in the bottle, but. I know my last one that I did, everybody said, oh, they sell it on Amazon. I don't really care for cheese too much. So, bam. Too much. You packing that baby on. <laughs> Hit it like that. Wrap your burrito up. 
Chow down. Mm -hmm. It's mom? Mm hmm. Like going to the yard. Mm hmm. Okay, guys, like this video, please. See you in the next video. Let's move them. See you, Brigo. Mm hmm. Bye.